Today on the Wedding Planning Podcast, we're going to reflect on 2020, but more importantly, let's talk about where we're headed in 2021. And my friend, trust me when I say that there is finally some light at the end of the tunnel. Hey there, it's Kara, and I believe that every engaged couple deserves the expertise of a down-to-earth, honest, and professional wedding planner. Join me each week on the Wedding Planning Podcast for straightforward advice designed to streamline and simplify your wedding plans. Are you ready to ditch the crushing wedding overwhelm and expense felt by so many engaged couples? To sign up for a free three-day trial of my revolutionary digital wedding planning package, visit weddingplanningpodcast.co slash vault. That's V-A-U-L-T. There's no promo code required for the free trial, and I can't wait to see you there. Enjoy the show. Why, hello there, and welcome to today's brand new episode. And thank you, as always, for spending a few minutes of your day here with me talking all about your wedding. It's a huge honor to be a part of your engagement, and I couldn't thank you more for choosing the Wedding Planning Podcast to help you out over the next few months. If you are newly engaged and just joining us for the first time or one of the first times, I'm going to mention before we get started that today we're talking a lot about the COVID pandemic and how it has affected weddings in 2020 and how it will continue to affect weddings into 2021. So if you are planning for one year out, two years out, and you're landing on this show, it may not be applicable to your wedding situation, but I would definitely encourage encourage you to go back through your feed and explore the dozens of other episodes that you'll find really, really helpful. It's really easy to look at 2020 and to laser focus on all of the disappointments, the frustration, and all of the stress that has surrounded a pandemic of epic proportions. While it's totally normal and even healthy to face all these letdowns and just cry it out, it's equally important that we start to look ahead into the new year and how we can open a new chapter of hope for better days to come. I don't need to tell you that the wedding world was completely devastated by COVID. Nationwide shutdowns, panic from couples who were forced to resort to a wedding plan B and then plan C and then D and on and on. Maybe you are one of those couples and you're taking planning day by day, even now, still wondering if your spring 2021 wedding that you rescheduled last spring is even going to take place. We're finding ourselves in a really unique situation with millions of engaged couples from 2019 and 2020. Now they're all clamoring for 2021 wedding dates. And as you can imagine, and maybe are even experiencing firsthand, this creates a log jam of venue and vendor availability over the coming year and even beyond that. And that's not even to mention that many of you who initially rescheduled your wedding in 2020 for 2021, now you're facing renewed concern and piles of stress over whether or not your 2021 wedding coming up in March, April, May, or months beyond that is even going to be able to happen. Nine, ten months ago, no one predicted that we would still be having this really frustrating and really stressful conversation about whether or not rescheduled weddings would be able to take place. I understand the sleepless nights I feel for you and my heart goes out to all of you who have dealt with this over the past year and are still dealing with it in the months to come. All of this aside, not to minimize it, but all of this aside, let's shift our focus a little bit today because there are some silver linings that lie ahead and that's truly what I want to focus on in today's show. The timing for this episode couldn't be more perfect. The COVID vaccine got the final green light just days ago, which comes as such amazing news, especially during the holiday season of hope and promise of a new year. This is such wonderful news. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and while the vaccine definitely is not a switch that's going to immediately turn on and get us back to quote normal. It is extremely promising news as we move forward and I don't want to minimize that. 
And this is also the perfect time to say a humongous year-end thank you to all of our essential workers who have dedicated yourselves to your trade over this past year, our teachers, medical professionals, lab technicians, and every single one of you who got up every single day and went out into the scary world that we've lived in to keep things afloat for the rest of us. I am so incredibly grateful for you, and I know that everyone listening is grateful for you as well. Throughout today's show, all about silver linings and light at the end of the tunnel, I'm going to be sharing bits of a conversation I had with Catherine Frost. Catherine is the founder of Oro Planner, which is an all-in-one software platform for event planning professionals. As someone with a bird's eye view of the wedding industry on a nationwide scale, she brings a really unique perspective to today's show, and she has some really promising insights and planning tips to share with you. And I decided that the wedding industry needed some revamping in the tech field. So I partnered with uh, my my now partner. Um, I stole him away from Microsoft. And so we created Oro together. And we are so excited to have this great platform to streamline the planning process for planners. And here are just a few of the silver linings as we reflect back and look ahead into a new year. And the first one that I think is so important is that there is less pressure to host a humongous, really expensive and super formal wedding. COVID forced us to let go of a lot of the expectations surrounding what a wedding is supposed to look like, what it should cost, and who should be invited. Because of all of this, weddings got stripped down to the very, very essence, and that is the couple, their union, and that's it. I talk all the time about streamlining and simplifying your wedding plans, and we literally could not get more simple than you and your soon-to-be husband or wife standing before a person who's officiating your marriage. And if you're lucky, if you've been lucky over the past months and coming up into the next few months, if you're lucky, a few of your loved ones can join and be there with you. That is truly what a wedding and what a marriage and the start of a marriage is all about. And then another focusing on the positive, another silver lining in the wedding world is that budgets are going a lot further than they have in years past. Coming up in 2021, there are going to be a lot of great opportunities for you to snag a great deal and to take advantage of corporate event cancellations. Here's Catherine with it's much really more. Fun is that we're being able to see that people's budgets are going a lot further for 2021. I would say, you know, with corporate events um, not going as well as to be expected for the fall uh, or for the winter with holiday parties and everything else, the couples are able to get in there and uh, rack up some of those deals, get in with the catering, with lower budgets, um, and snag those amazing venues that they've been looking at. The COVID world has also given us a shift to more weddings that are being held at home or locally. There is less travel and less travel, generally speaking, equals less stress. So what I've seen a lot is that couples aren't traveling as much anymore. You know, we used to have these really big destination weddings where everyone was traveling. You know, it was always a strain for all the wedding parties to be traveling for multiple weddings throughout the year. But now we're seeing a big shift go back to more at home weddings and maybe not a home wedding, <laughs> but there are a lot of backyard weddings going on. It's more of, you know, they're staying in the same cities or in the same states so that they already know the guidelines. They know the regulations that are going on in their own states. There are people that are traveling for weddings. Uh, they're just a lot smaller than they were. And so we're seeing the shift of smaller destination weddings, um, some more, I would say, kind of elopement weddings, but they're able to bring their families in with that. So that's been a really nice change and I think a positive in that direction for elopements that it's no longer just the couple eloping and maybe a couple friends, it's now the family is involved. And I think that makes it more special for everyone. 
I agree. I love that trend and that shift as well. And I think it makes it so, it's just meaningful when you have such a small, intimate group like that. Part of what we have struggled with industry professionals and also, of course, the couples who are actually planning these weddings, it's just been such a struggle to wrap your mind around what was an expectation for a year or two years or for some couples even longer and then having that shattered and kind of trying to pivot and accept the fact that your wedding is not going to look the way you dreamed it would look for maybe years and years and years past. Catherine Um, and I continued to discuss how disappointing it's been for couples with an expectation that they would have a huge, beautiful wedding with all of their loved ones and all of their friends there. For a lot of us, this has been a dream For literally years and to have that dream wedding that you have wanted and planned for for so long, to have that all shattered before your eyes is absolutely heartbreaking. And again, I'll say it a hundred times over, my heart goes out to every single one of you who have experienced all of this disappointment over the past year and who have struggled and been sad and frustrated and stressed out beyond belief over the loss of your dream wedding. That is a very, very real thing. And I completely understand how disappointing it is. All right. So you might be asking, okay, where is the silver lining in that? And it lies in the trade-off. So the trade-off of hundreds of your hours of stress and months and months of buildup Um, Trading that for a small event that might be lacking in size and it might be lacking in quantity of guests, but no matter how small your wedding was forced to become, it can still be absolutely exploding with love and with meaning. And you might be saying, well, forget that. I wanted that humongous dream wedding. I wanted all my friends and family there. I wanted to spend all the money and have all the people and have a huge celebration. And again, I totally get that. But I've also talked to an equal number of you who have a sense of relief that you were let off the hook for planning a huge wedding, for investing thousands of dollars. And there was a huge sense of relief that all of those peripheral things that kind of become overwhelming and become so stressful, you strip those away and you put the focus on your relationship and just your small, tiny, intimate wedding. And that is an awesome way to start your marriage. I mentioned this earlier, we've been forced to strip the wedding down to the very essence, the most important part, and that can get lost in all those months or maybe even years of planning. It can get lost in hundreds of small yet very overwhelming decisions that you make over the course of all those months. And at the end of the day, or maybe we should say at the end of the pandemic would be a more appropriate phrase here. All that truly matters is that you and your partner are united in marriage. That is the goal. The parties, the humongous celebration, the hundreds of guests, all of that, that can come later. We don't need to let go of that. We don't need to give that up. We don't need to sacrifice that. It just can't happen now. I know, trust me, I know that that might not be your first choice and it's really hard to see it, let alone appreciate it right now. But in 10, 20 years, when you look back on 2020 and the story of your wedding, regardless of how it went, it's going to be a story that you remember and that you share for the rest of your life. We can have parties and receptions literally any day for any reason. We're so close. You can celebrate on your one-year anniversary. You can celebrate on the anniversary of your original wedding date or any other day you choose. Have all the parties, all the time, for any reason at all. That is a silver lining that I can definitely get on board with. Coming up after a quick break, I'll be sharing Catherine's number one unique opportunity that couples have for 2021 and also your wedding questions and struggles. I'll be back in just a minute. 
Researching and planning an entire wedding in the midst of everything else going on in your life can be a really stressful time. And if you find your happiness is suffering, BetterHelp is here for you. BetterHelp will assess your individual needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Send a message to your counselor anytime and receive a thoughtful, timely response. You can even schedule weekly video or phone sessions, all without ever having to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. Licensed professional counselors specialize in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, anger, family conflicts, and more. BetterHelp is committed to partnering you with your perfect therapeutic match, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting counselors in all 50 states. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting BetterHelp.com dot com slash wedding. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's better help, H-E-L-P dot com slash wedding. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Generation Tux, and they see a couple of big problems with suit and tuxedo rentals for your wedding day. Ditch the crowded formal wear store and forget about having to pick up everything the day before your wedding. In a day and age when we can have literally anything delivered to our doorstep with the push of a button, why not your wedding day suits? Generation Tux gets it and their service solves all of it. Here's how it works. Visit GenerationTux.com where you can build your look online right from the comfort of your couch. Generation Tux has developed a free home try-on program for grooms. Experience style and color from the comfort of your home months before your big day. The best part is that everything arrives on the doorstep of all the party members 14 days before the wedding, and they even offer on-demand fit consultations. That way, if there are any fit issues at all, there's plenty of time to take care of it. At Generation Tux, everyone's invited. Earn a free suit or tuxedo rental with five paid members, or even keep your suit or tux when seven members check out. The choice is yours. This is a huge value. Save time, save some money, and most importantly, save your sanity by checking these guys out at www.generationtux.com and use promo code WEDPOD for 10% off the entire groom's party. Hey, right now is the perfect time to start planning your destination wedding or your honeymoon. My name is Susan Green and I'm at Susan's Travel Services and I'm available to you with my team for free to help you with all the planning and details of your dream honeymoon or destination wedding. A lot of couples come to us and say they're worried about working with a travel agent is going to be one more expense to pay and that's simply not true. In fact, working with us should save you time, money, and we want to make sure that that trip is the best trip yet. We have over 25 years in the industry and we specialize specialize in travel around the world. Let us help you find the best deals, all-inclusive resorts, Mexico, Caribbean, exotic cruises, or how about those overwater bungalows in the Maldives and Bora Bora. Don't get overwhelmed with the millions of places and opinions online. Get some free help and rely on professional experience to make sure you get exactly what you're looking for with your dream vacation or destination wedding. And hey, have I mentioned again that we're free? Email us at susan at Susan's Travel Services and tell us that you heard us on this awesome podcast. And we're going to give you $50 off your final payment. What's even better, you tell a friend to contact us and they give us your referral, we'll give you another $50 off your trip. Guess what? If you're doing a destination wedding and you tell someone else, we'll give you $250 off your destination wedding. See, we want to make it easy for you and we want to work with you. We've been in the business a long time. We're really excited about your destination wedding, honeymoon, and getting to know you as a client. Have an awesome day. Welcome back to our conversation all about silver linings in the wedding world coming up in 2021. And let's continue the show again with Catherine as she shares the number one unique opportunity that couples like you have for 2021. What's the unique opportunity that's going to come up in 2021 is these last minute deals that are going to pop up since we are kind of predicting you know, late summer, the revival of weddings coming back, maybe everyone has a vaccine by then. 
um, or is vaccinated by then. But, you know, the people that are going to be brave to try maybe late spring or early summer, they are going to get deals of a lifetime for venues that are all of a sudden coming online because they moved everyone to 2022 or 2023. Uh, which we don't even want to think about 2023 at this point, (laughs) (laughs) but they are going to get these crazy great deals and it's going to be within their budgets. You know, they'll be able to get the cater of their dreams because events are going to want to come roaring back and they're going to have that opportunity to come in and kind of steal that late spring, early summer, you think think would be ideal. I I really think that late spring is going to be the, the time when, you know, if you've already bought your wedding dress and you're just kind of waiting for that perfect venue, like this is the time to take it. Right. And it's, well, it's heartbreaking as well, because I feel like if we rewind, we're in December recording this, if we go back nine months ago when everything started and quarantine started and shutdown started, we thought at the time that it was pretty safe to say you could reschedule your wedding to spring of 2021 and you would be in the clear. What is that looking like on a nationwide scale from your perspective? Are couples now rescheduling again? Is that something you're seeing a lot? Yes, I'm starting to see the spring couples try to push for the fall, but you know, everyone from the fall in 2020 had to push their weddings to 2021, let alone the people that are getting engaged now. So now we have almost 4 million people that are engaged because of the two different years here um, that are trying to plan their weddings around the same time with the same venues. So I really think that if you can be one of those last minute flexible people, you're going to get, you're going to get in the year that you want, first of all, and you're going to be able to get the deals that you're looking for with the venues that you want, instead of having to wait till 2022 to maybe get in on a Sunday instead of a Saturday, like you were looking for. Excellent advice. I love that. I, if you, there's a date that's available in 2021 for the fall or late summer, I would definitely hop on that as soon as possible. Um, but you know, I also think that with all these engaged couples that had to postpone their weddings, a trend that we saw a lot is that they had a ceremony and so they are married. So these are going to be more receptions that we're seeing instead of the ceremony and reception, which will be kind of a fun change, I think, to see in the industry because it's just going to be a big party. And I think that we're going to see more of a theme with those instead of it being very formal and traditional, I think we're gonna see it as a more relaxed environment going into 2021 with the couples that did have to delay. Because, I mean, they've had to spend a lot of money on their formal invitations that they maybe had to retract and they had to send out new save the dates and they had to keep sending all this money on all these invitations. So I think that we're going to see them kind of start to make a joke out of everything and make it a lot more fun. Definitely. And something um, that I was talking with a couple of other couples about listeners of the show, how fun to reframe it. We talked earlier about silver linings, how fun to reframe the tragedy and the disappointment and the heartbreak of it all to throwing your reception and making it the biggest one year anniversary party that anyone (laughs) has ever seen. (laughs) Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for people to just go all out and maybe we'll probably see some dyed dresses in there, you know, from people just doing crazy things that they did during quarantine. Um, And so it will be a fun shift to see this new wave of parties for the, the one year anniversary. All right, my friend. So in summary, if you're willing to be last minute, if this sounds like you and you're down for a spontaneous last minute decision, you're ready to just get married already. Keep your eyes out late spring and early summer of 2021 and look for killer deals on venues that are either just coming back online or venues that have had corporate cancellations and they're looking to fill those blank dates, you could snag an amazing deal. If you technically are already married, if you technically got married in 2020, use your one year anniversary as the perfect excuse to throw a huge celebration with your loved ones. I can't think of a better way to incorporate that reception that you always dreamed of 
into the one year afterwards, again, I know this was not anyone's choice, but given the circumstances, it would be a really, really fun way to celebrate. And then another bit from our conversation where the audio got a little scratchy and I couldn't share the original uh, conversation between us, but we talked about how fun it would be to use your original wedding dress. So if you got married in 2020 and you had a dress made that you wore for that, it would be so fun to repurpose that wedding dress for your one year anniversary or for that follow up reception that you're planning for later in 2021. I want to say a huge thank you to Catherine for joining us on today's show. If you are a wedding and or event planner, Oro Planner is an amazing all-in-one tool and I would highly recommend checking it out. And if you're a couple who's working with a planner, ask your planner to take a look and learn more. Again, it's Oro Planner. That's O-R-O Planner.com. And to wrap up today's show, I wanted to share some of the things that are on your mind. All of these conversations generated on Instagram on the stories feature. You can follow along. I'm at Wedding Planning Podcast, all one word, super easy. I would love to connect with you there. And here's some stuff that's been on your mind over the past week. First and foremost, no surprise here, COVID-related stress is a huge one, and I really hope that today's show has been helpful for you if you're planning for early to mid-2021. Gathering restrictions, planning issues with venue tours, dress shopping, whether or not to postpone or reschedule, sometimes for the second, third, fourth, or even fifth time, or even getting yourself motivated to be excited and actually plan at all. These are all things that have been on your mind. And again, I hope today's show is helpful in reframing things and putting a positive spin on one or two elements that have been a complete source of stress and frustration over the past year. Here's a fun one. I'm expected to wear a dress, but I'm a pants person. Expectations are a big one and everyone expects certain things at a wedding and one of those societal expectations has been that a woman getting married will be wearing a dress. Well, my friend, I am here to give you permission to do whatever it is that you want on your wedding day. It extends way beyond your clothing to every other element. But clothing specific, if you are a pants person, there are hundreds and thousands of absolutely gorgeous pantsuits, short skirts, long pants, shorts, whatever it is that you want. You have full permission to go out and wear whatever you want on your wedding day. Another listener is having a hard time deciding on using a professional caterer or having a chef friend provide the food. This is a tough decision. And if you're considering working with a friend for food or cake or photography or any other wedding services, I would really encourage you to check out the Frienders show from August 19th, 2020. We talk all about things to consider uh, when you're thinking of working with a friend versus a professional. And next up to share, these are all very similar from three different listeners. Having trouble narrowing down my wedding vision, I didn't realize I was trying to incorporate three different things. Another one is actually making a decision from another listener. (laughs) Decisions can be hard and they come with a ton of stress. Trust me, I know that. And then the third one, deciding on colors and our theme. I like two looks that are completely different. All right, if you're struggling on any of these things, creating your vision, how to incorporate different themes, choosing a theme, choosing your colors, how to choose between two looks that are completely different. If any of this has gone through your mind, last week's show is perfect for you. That aired on December 9th, and we talked all about making design decisions like a pro. So go have a listen if you missed that one. And some other things on your mind, entertaining your guests at a beach wedding with no DJ. I will say as someone who loves good food and loves a great cocktail, those two things are oftentimes the only thing you need to keep your guests entertained, especially if you're having an intimate small wedding. Chances are that most of these people are very familiar with one another and will get to know one another if they're not. 
And great conversations, great food, and great drinks are nine times out of 10 all you need for a fantastic wedding. So don't sweat the entertainment. Don't have music, no dancing, not to worry. Your guests are going to have an amazing time. And then to wrap it up, we have a whole gaggle of you who are stressed out about the budget. Disagreements with my mom over how we spend the budget, running a champagne wedding on a beer budget, entertaining a small group with budget restraints, figuring out how much money our parents can contribute without outright asking them. Budget is a huge topic and we're going to cover it in next week's all new show. That episode is going to be perfect for you whether you're just starting to plan or you've been at it for a few months now and you just need to refocus, recenter, and get a fresh start on the finances. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I appreciate you so much and your support of the Wedding Planning Podcast. I'm sending all my best wishes for a happy holiday season filled with love and filled with health and cheers to a happy new year. I'll talk to you again next week, same time, same place. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Wedding Planning Podcast. For a list of any links and resources called out in today's show, take a peek at the show notes in your podcast player whenever you have a hands-free moment. You can also subscribe to receive convenient show recaps via email by visiting weddingplanningpodcast.co. While you're there, you can browse a library of all past episodes and view special offers from our sponsors. That website again is weddingplanningpodcast.co. Thank you so much for including me and the Wedding Planning Podcast in your wedding plans. And I'll talk to you again next week, same time, same place.